the Soviet government never allowed Likov to be bored. Many old believers during collectivization entered Artels and remained in the area of their residence. Led the same way of life. The authorities were not very interested in such people. But Stepan, Karp and Evdikim Likov stayed away from the Stalinist government. Apparently for this they had good reason. Neighbors and friends condemned Likov's actions. Considering sinful and advised them not to run, to live like everyone else, not to torment the family. Now I'll tell you about all the cases by year, when hermits or security officers met hermits in the Tega. And at the end of this video I'll tell you what, in the opinion of Agafia Lykova, was in her life the most difficult of all the hardships suffered. Therefore, watch the video to the end. And I'll ask you to subscribe to our channel with a button under the video, who has not done so yet. And press the bell so as not to miss new videos. And we will continue. In 1934, the brothers Evdikim and Karp were digging potatoes, by the way, they were under the food ban of the old believers. Employees of the reserve received an anonymous letter on Evdikim stating that he was helping the white guards in civilian service and came to find out. After the cry of the inspectors, Evdikim rushed to the house, Karp remained in place as ordered. Rusikov shot at Evdikim, the bullet went right through, from behind through the stomach, from left to right. Despite a mortal wound, he reached the caches. Later, a bear opened his grave and almost destroyed the corpse. In 1937, employees of the Enkv again visited the Lykovs with questioning. Karp decided not to risk it and went on the run with his family. In 1940, employees of the reserve during a multi-day tour accidentally saw Karp Likov, who was fishing on the river. They forced him to show his family as dwelling with threats. They lied that they figured out the murder of brother Evdikim, punished the guilty. They offered to own a house on the far cordon of the reserve, a bathhouse, a cow and work. It was a turning point when the Lykov's fate could go according to a completely different scenario. Lykov promised that having dug up a potato, he would transport the family to the cordon. In the fall, he actually brought in the boat the first batch of dug up potatoes and went for the remains of vegetables and family. He spent the night on a cardoni, steamed in a bath, talked for a long time with the rangers. Something, apparently, alerted him. He did not believe the rangers and did not return to the cardon. He moved with his family to the Tega. In 1941 a detachment of Czechists was sent in search of deserters, as well as for the return of the escaped Lykovs. Since Karp was a hunter from childhood, it was not a problem for him to go unnoticed by the main detachment. Talk with their ranger, who was Likov's acquaintance. As a result of the conversation, the old believer family fled again. Likov accidentally found military topographers in the fall of 1945. And the Lieutenant Barishkov, who headed the topographic detachment, returned and indicated this event in the report, there are children in the family. Two are already adults. The head of the family, seeing the epaulets, decided that imperial authority had returned, began to pray and tried to kiss my boots. This report, naturally, during the Usser, was not advertised. In 1946, another Angkv detachment set out on a campaign to force the Likov family to return and to try Karp for not participating in the war. For 17 days, guides and security officers wandered in aimless searches and the Lykovs went even further, leaving no trace even in the snow. In 1978, geologists from a helicopter noticed them again. But Likov already understood that times had changed and the investigators were no longer interested in them. Therefore eagerly contacted the world, although completely in vain. By the time the geologists discovered the Tega inhabitants, there were five, the head of the Karp Likov family, the sons of Savin, 45 years old, Dimitri, 36 years old, and daughters Natalia, 42 years old, and Agafia, 34 years old. Since the Lykovs in isolation did not acquire such immunity as people living in society, they became infected and died. In 1981, three of the children died one after the other, seven, Dimitri and Natalia, and in 1988 Lykov's father passed away. Agafia has been a hermit since 1988. 
In 2019, Lycova was again offered the evacuation, although temporary and not the ENCV anymore, but the representatives of the Russian Space Agency explained this. Danger of falling in the area of the capture of rocket fragments. Agafia of course refused. Agafia recalling the hardships suffered, finds nothing harder than the lack of salt. That is, no one dared to go to people for salt. They were afraid. They suffered with the whole family but suffered. Although Likov, as in his youth, endured the disease from a village 150 came in the take alone. Then almost all the old believers of the village were infected from an alien relative and according to their belief it was necessary to take the ailment to that place. Where did the disease come from? That is, physically, the Lykovs could get salt. Apparently, fear interfered. I ask all subscribers to share information on this topic and their thoughts in the comments below the video. Please subscribe to the channel and share this video in all your social networks with a button under the video.